Hey, North Coast kids, it's Al, Air High Five. Okay, welcome to episode two of The Man With 100 Names. Today we're looking at another name of Jesus. He calls himself, I am the light of the world. We're going to check that out. And also we're going to announce the winner of our challenge, who got the most names. Let's get going. You guys want to play another round? Right yo, partner. I'm in. Y'all hear the rumor? A man with a hundred names is coming to town. There ain't no man with a hundred names. Three names, four, but a hundred? That's ridiculous. So it's one old man, but I hear he's real. I never heard of a man with a hundred names. Why has he got so many names? Because he's no ordinary man. I hear that every one of his names speaks of his greatness. North Coast Kids, it's Rochelle here. Today we're looking at the next name of Jesus and it's in John chapter 8 verse 12. So if you have your Bible, you could grab that now and get ready for our story. I'm going to pray first, ask God for help and then we'll jump in. You know what? It's going to look weird but I'm going to close my eyes and that's so I'm focusing on what I'm saying to God. You can pray with me if you like. Dear God, I thank you for the Bible, your special words to us. Please help us to listen and see who Jesus is and what he has done for us. Amen. Let's jump to our story. It was party time. Not that kind of party. It was Israel's party of lights. They would light big lights, so big that the whole city was lit up. This was to remember when God rescued Israel from Egypt. God appeared as a light and led them to the promised land. It was at this party that Jesus said, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. Wow, did you guys just hear what Jesus said? He said that he is the light of the world. Now, I've got a big point that's going to help us to remember what we've just heard in the story. It goes like this. Jesus is the light of that gives us life. I reckon you guys can do that with me. Are you ready? All right, ready and Jesus is the light that gives us life. Awesome, too good. Let me show you what that means. Are you ready? Oh, I've got two leaves here. Now, can you guys see these leaves? These two leaves are from my plant at home, the same plant. But they look so different, don't they? Can you guys tell the difference? What's different about these two plants? Yeah, this one is green and it's big and open and it, it looks alive, doesn't it? It looks like a happy plant. Whereas this poor guy, he's yellow and shriveled and dry. That's not what a plant's supposed to look like. He looks a bit dead. That doesn't make sense. These two leaves are from the same plant. And well, I've given them food, I've given them water and good soil. What else do plants need to live? Hmm. Oh, you guys are too good. Yeah, the light. See, this leaf here is on the side that gets all the beautiful sunlight it needs to live. Where, where do you think this leaf is from? The dark side, that's right. It's from the dark, in the dark and it hasn't been able to live. Plants need light. To live and do you know what in John 8 we're gonna see that we are a bit like that we need light to live let me show you what that means the Bible tells us that we are in darkness hold on a minute but how can I be in darkness when there's so much light around me you guys know we have a big Sun in the sky and I bet in your houses there's all sorts of lights you'll have lamps and torches and maybe even fairy lights 
how can we be in darkness? What does the Bible mean? Well, have a look here. See, God is light and God made us to be with him, to be in his light. But you know what? Ever since the beginning of the world, we've been pushing God and his light away. We've been putting ourselves in darkness. And you know what? That's like when we tell lies or when we don't do things that are loving, when we hurt people. All these things mean we're pushing God and his light away and we're putting ourselves in the dark. And you know why darkness is so bad, don't you? Life without God. Well, let's have a look at our leaf again. What was so bad about the darkness for this leaf? Yeah, it started to die. Darkness, it kills things. It causes things to die. And people are no different. Without the light of God, we can't live. We need his light. We have put ourselves in darkness. and We need the light of life. You know what? That's why it's such good news when we hear the words of Jesus. What did Jesus say? I am the light of the world. See, even though we have pushed God away, we've pushed him away. God is so kind that he has given us Jesus, the light of the world. And Jesus' light, it gets rid of darkness. It gets rid of all the things we've done to push God away. What were they? They were things like lying, like being mean to someone, not listening to God. That's the darkness that Jesus came to get rid of. You guys know that Jesus is actually a bit like a lighthouse. A lighthouse is that big building with a light on top. Have you guys seen them before? And the light shines into the darkness in the water and it gets rid of the darkness. And that's what Jesus came to do. Jesus is the light of the world that came to shine light into the darkness, to get rid of the darkness. And this is how he does it. Jesus takes on all our darkness. Every time we've pushed God away, Jesus has taken that on himself. And you know what happens from the darkness? It caused him to die. Jesus had to die in our place. Jesus took on the darkness and died in our place so that we don't have to. That's how he got rid of all the darkness when he died at the cross. Just like if you went into your bedroom and it was pitch black and then you switched the light, what happens? All the light disappears. All the darkness disappears. Jesus came to be the light of the world and get rid of all the darkness. That's how he can give us life because he gets rid of the things that pushed us away, that separated us from God. So we can be with God the light again. That's how Jesus gives us life. Jesus is the light that gives us life. That sounds amazing and I want that. So what should I do? Well, what does Jesus say? He says, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never be in darkness, but will have the light of life. Okay, so if I follow Jesus, then I will have life, life forever. That sounds amazing, doesn't it? You know what? Plants, plants are so helpful. They're going to help us again here. Have you ever seen a plant or a tree that's grown so funny to the side because it's trying to get to the light. Plants are smart, you see. They know that they need the light for life. So they do whatever they can to reach up and to follow the light. And you know what? We should try and be like that. We should try and follow Jesus because we know he is the light that gives us life forever. Follow Jesus, reach to him, cling to him, keep being with him. And I've got one last thing to say to you guys. Now, this is a weird time with this big bad virus around and things can get a bit scary and we don't know what's going to happen in the future. But remember this, if we follow Jesus, then we don't have to be afraid of death. 
See, because Jesus has given us life, life forever, life that can't be snatched away. So remember that if we follow Jesus, then we don't have to be afraid of death. Jesus is the light that gives us life. Hey guys, we're going to sing about Jesus, the light of the world. So maybe move some things around and then let's get going. In my wrestling and in my doubts, in my failures, you won't walk out. Your great love will lead me through. You are the peace in my troubled sea. You are the peace. My troubles. My lighthouse, my lighthouse, shining in the darkness. I will follow you, oh, my lighthouse, my lighthouse. I will trust the promise. You will carry me safe. Time for a treasure verse. Yes, it's time for a treasure verse with Al. Uh, that's my name. Cut. It's time for a treasure verse with John. Uh, that's not your name either. Oh, I just want to be like Jesus. He's amazing and he has so many names. All right, guys, it's time for treasure verse with Matt. It's so good to have you guys. Yeah, I want to share something with you guys. I was reading my Bible earlier this, um, earlier this week, and it ties in so well to what we're learning about Jesus as the light of the world. Check this out. So if we go to Psalm 109, what it says, it says, is your word is a light unto my path and a lamp unto my feet. Wow, this is why we treasure our verse. God's word is a light to us. So that helps us all the time, but especially when times are dark, it's summer we can go. So let's dive in to Philippians 2. Got it, got it. Okay. Therefore God has exalted him to the highest place and given him the name that is above every name. What I want to do with us today is we're going to take that really big passage and we're just going to look at a little bit. Because what we want to do is we want to know those words so well, but we also want to know what they mean. So come with me, guys. We're going to look at the first two words. And guys, these words are huge. All right, guys, the first word that we're going to look at is therefore. And wow, the Bible is littered with the word therefore, but what does it mean? All right, here's something really cool. Therefore is like a bridge. In Australia, we've got lots of bridges. What they do is they help connect one thing to another. So we've got a passage before and this bridge is helping us. It's going to help us see what was there. So let's go for a drive. You guys ready? Go for a drive. Bridge. Glasses. Yeah, let's do this. Okay, we've landed back at verse 6. And what I want you to do is go through this with mum and dad. Verse 6 and 7 and 8 are amazing. And what they do really quickly is they show us that Jesus made himself lower and lower and lower. 
So let's jump back on our bridge. Whoa, that's what therefore means. Now, where does it put us? We come across verse six, we go across our bridge and we get to God. This whole passage, our whole treasure verse is telling us how God has responded to what Jesus has done. Wow, isn't that amazing? I don't know about you guys, I'm excited. Whenever our God speaks, you know what I want to do? I want to listen. Okay, now, getting this into our heart is so important. Let's think of a way that we can get it into our mind. Hmm. Good, good, so good. Yes, we can remember it. We can speak it over and over. I'm sure there's another good idea. Let's have a think. Hmm. Hmm. Hey, Matt, you know what? We can sing it. We can sing the treasure verse. Oh, I love it. Let's do that. Let's do it. Therefore God exalted him to the highest place and gave him the name, the name above every name, the name above every name. Therefore God Exalted him to the highest place and gave him the name, the name above every name, the name above every name. above every name, the name above every name. Hey everyone, I want to give you two options for our activity time today. The first one is this cool flashlight. Look at this. Click on. It's a bit like a light saber. You can flash around. That's gonna be our first option. I'll put that right there. And the second option is this coloring in sheet. You can find it down in the description and print it off. Easy, let's get going. What you'll need for this one is a sheet of paper, okay? Then what you'll need is you'll need some tape. I'll put them out on the table for you here. You, you kind of need a ruler. You can get away with that one, but it's better to have a ruler. You need some of your coloring in pieces. You need some scissors, got my scissors here. And if you want to not color in, you can use color paper for this. But you don't need that, I'm gonna color in because that's what I like to do, okay. You guys think you can get that? Ooh, I said tape, right? I did say tape, perfect. If you don't have tape, you can just use some glue and then you will be good to go. So now is a good time to pause, run, and go grab the stuff you need. Perfect. Okay, let's get started. So, take all that stuff out of the way. First thing you wanna do is take your white piece of paper and have a look. I'm gonna put my ruler on the edge here, right on the edge like that. And then I'm gonna fold this other corner over to the side of the ruler. And then, it's just so that we have a line and then we can cut it. If you don't have a ruler, what you could do is just put two or three fingers there. Then, when you have that piece, grab your scissors and just cut on the line there. Slowly on the line. If you're not comfortable with the scissors, just get someone to help you. Nice. Two pieces. Okay, this one's gonna be the handle of our torch. And this one is going to be the light of our torch. Let me show you. Okay. This one, we want to color in black on the outside. I mean, what you can use any color you want, honestly. I'm going to go for black. If you need to put a sheet underneath where you're coloring in, so you don't make any marks on the table. And I'm just going to color in like that. Just slowly go up and down. 
do 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 If you want, you can even like leave a little spot there where your button's gonna be. Yeah, that's how I like it. Now, if you're a perfectionist, then you don't wanna see any bits of white spot there. But if you're happy like me to just rush it, get it going. Once you do it well the first time, you can come back and just make a new one if you wanna make it even better. I think the black torchlight handle with the with the yellow light that's gonna shoot out of it, it's just gonna look much better. It's gonna look like, it's just gonna be a strong yellow coming out of there. Okay, I think I'm happy with that. How you going? I think I like boring colors more. I think some people will use blue and reds and stuff like that, but I tend to like boring colors. That's so why I always wear black clothes. Now I'm gonna test it, because we're gonna roll it, and I'm gonna see, oh actually I'm gonna roll it from the other side, and then see if my handle looks good. Look at that, that looks pretty good, right? I think that thickness is good. Now what I'm gonna do with that, I've colored that in, I'm gonna get some tape and tape that. Look at that, just a tiny little strip. This is where you probably will need someone's help. One to hold the, the handle and the other person to tape it. Because this is quite tricky. Look, I'll put that there for you. You can see my little handle. Okay, now we're gonna take the other piece. We're gonna make the actual light that's gonna shoot out of there. So, what is good is to go, what you actually want, ooh, you wanna make sure that the long ways is up this way. The shorter bit of the paper is facing to the bottom of the long ways. So we're gonna make the one half, we're gonna make the one half yellow at the top here and the other half black. Let me show it from this angle. This top bit, so see how it's longer on this side than it is here? This side's gonna be yellow and this side's gonna be black. So I'm just going to draw a little line there and then I know that this bottom half needs to be black. And I'm gonna start coloring that in. And you wanna do as good a job as you can. Oh yeah, I'm getting pretty good at this. So I keep doing this, my wrists will get tired. I've got this song stuck in my head. I just can't get it out. But I don't want to sing in front of you guys right now. Look at that. I mean, you've got to be impressed with that, right? Well, I am. I'm impressed with that. Now, the top half. Oh, let me do. I was going to do a little bit more on the side there. Just in case it's not enough. Okay, now close the black off, get a different color. I'm gonna use this yellow, nice and bright yellow. And you just wanna color the top half now in yellow. Because most lights are yellow. I mean, you can just leave it white actually. If, if you get tired of coloring, you can just leave it white because some lights like LED lights are white. But I'm gonna yellow, it's got that classic look about it. It's what I want. This is where I said if you want to, you can also use the yellow paper and you can just put the yellow paper in there and use black paper to make your handle if you've got that. But I know not everyone has the color paper. And I think it's much nicer when you make something yourself, right? Yeah, it's pretty cool to buy something, but when you make it yourself, I think it's just a feel that a little bit better because you've done it yourself. So this is what it should look like. And we're gonna put this in our handle. It's gonna go in our handle. So we'll do the same here. You're gonna roll it up. 
roll it up. Looks a bit like a lightsaber, actually. Light, lightsaber look. You roll that up. Then actually what I do is I make it, before I tape anything. Ooh, is this gonna work? Yeah, it is. Before I tape anything, I put it in. Because then when I tape it, I get the right size, if I can get it. Okay, so see now I know what size it needs to be. Then I can twist it, push it around. Oh, this looks quite hard. I don't need... I'm gonna roll it again. Roll it a bit tinier so that it goes in easy. And then if you roll it tiny and you do push it in and it expands a little bit, perfect. Look at that. Look at that. Now I'm gonna tape it just like I did the first one so that it doesn't unravel. Good, and I'm gonna push it through to the other side and tape it on that side. Nice. And then I'm gonna pull it out a little bit more and do one more tape in the middle so that it all stays nice and even. Now I'll take it out and you can see. Can you see that? Look at the top. So I've got tape there, lightsaber, look, but it's actually a flashlight. You can actually make it longer if you wanna make a lightsaber. Then you push it all the way into the, the hole, all you see is the black. So now it looks like a flashlight handle. Now I can just imagine that I'm clicking the button, light, shine around, push it back in to turn it off. Let me show you from here. Click, flashlight. Hey guys, thanks for joining us. That's the end of our second episode of North Coast Kids Online. I am excited to say the winner of our family challenge. So we were trying to see how many names of Jesus we could find in the Bible. Are you ready to hear the winner? Drum roll. <laughs> Noah Goff, well done to Noah. He got 61 names, how impressive is that? Well done to Noah and well done to everyone that submitted their answers. It was great to see. Thanks guys and we hope you have a great week.